y'all Shannon Sharp is starting to face an insane amount of criticism over his show. And there are rumors that some very powerful people in the industry are trying to force him out, girl. We all saw this coming from a move-off cause this man has been spilling an insane amount of tea on celebs. And y'all know that these celebs hate it when their crazy secrets get exposed. But Shannon isn't fighting alone because his good friend Cat Williams seems to be standing ten toes down with him and defending him against the haters. It's not surprising that Cat would defend Shanting like this because he's the one who started spilling some wild tea on celebs to start with and I'm willing to bet that these celebs are furious at Cat as well. So what exactly is going on between Shannon and these celebrities? Does he have more dirt on them? And why on earth are some people saying that Tyler Perry is the one trying to Shannon's career in his show? Let's talk about this child. I don't even think that Cat Williams himself thought that things were going to be this chaotic. When he sat down on Shannon Sharp's Club Shea podcast in January, the moment the podcast dropped social media was a hot chaotic mess because Cat aired out so much dirty laundry that the internet stank for weeks, child. It's been more than six months since then, and it doesn't look like things are going to change anytime soon. Not only has Cat's interview been viewed more than 70 million times, but he also paved the way for other celebs to come on the show and speak their truth like Monique, whose interview has been viewed more than 15 million times. Between Kat and Monique, they exposed so many CBS and showed us how messy the industry really was. You can bet that it didn't go down well with the celebs. And they had a lot to say about the situation. For example, Dave Chappelle accused Kat and Shannon for trying to bring down black artists, saying, what part of the game is this? He ethered ninjas. He didn't say anything about any of those white boys. None of these white boys function like that cat is one of the best painters in the game, so why are you drawing ugly pictures of us? Stop, hurt people hurt people, but I am a hurt person that never hurt people, and he does it all the time. He also accused them of trying to ruin the livelihoods of his fellow black men, and he said, if I told my story it would break your heart, I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. And he is acting like the arbiter of truth, cat. Listen, I F with Cat hard, but D tell me, what part of the game, F S up another ninja's paper, what part of the game is about telling on another ninja? Del Hugel also spoke up in ICC Shannon of being messy and helping his guests spread lies and false narratives about big names in the industry. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere, she just got a weight set. Um... So Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much in gain weight unless every crunch you do has got Captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. While Kat's interview sparked the fire, Monique's interview lit the flame because she went after two of the biggest figures in black entertainment, Oprah and Tyler Perry. Monique has a bit of a history with Oprah and Tyler Perry. And for the first time in years, she has her say, and she spilled the true details of what really happened. For some background context, this beef goes back many years, and Monique has been holding on to that grudge, and considering how Oprah and Tyler allegedly went over and beyond to ruin Monique's reputation and get her blackballed from the industry, she, I would have held on to that grudge as well. And the crazy part is that Monique didn't do anything wrong to Tyler or Oprah, because all she did was refuse to work for free, when they would be Mac a millions. I mean honestly, who likes to work for free? Tyler and Oprah wanted Monique to do a promotional press tour for their movie, Precious Without Pay, but Monique turned them down even though she was the main character in the movie. However, Oprah and Tyler were not used to hearing the word no from someone who worked for them, and they were furious over this. Instead of either canceling the tour or paying Monique, they chose to blacklist her by spreading rumors about her being a diva who was difficult to work with when big shots like Tyler Perry or Oprah give you a cold shoulder and label you as difficult. You better believe that things are about to get difficult. Indeed, Monique found this out the hard way because she turned into a pariah in Hollywood and every producer or casting director avoided her like she had the play. Tyler, on the other hand, has always avoided the drama over the years. He has insisted that he had nothing to do with Monique's issues, that Monique's downfall was on her, and that he played no role in it. He has also tried to claim that she was trying to use him as a scapegoat for her own problem. This is a classic case of he said, she said. But Monique has never changed her story for more than 10 years. She has continued to stick to what she said at the start, claiming that Tyler and Oprah played a major role in ruining her life. Monique hasn't held back on this topic. Not one bit, she even spilled the tea on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay, accusing Tyler of blacklisting her, and then lying straight to her face about. Tyler Perry called us up, right? 
And he said, I can see the pain in you and I can hear it. And I want to let you know that I, I, I would never do nothing to hurt you. But the conversation kept going on only for Tyler Perry to admit he did start a rumor that I was difficult to work with. He lied only for Tyler Perry to admit I was wrong. And when my movie Boo come out, she also claimed that Tyler promised that he was going to fix the situation and get people off her back. But he never did. I was wrong. And when my movie Boo come out, she then dropped a bombshell, claiming she had an audio recording of Tyler Perry admitting he started the rumor that got her blackballed according to Monique. Tyler even confessed on tap that it wasn't fair of him to do so. Oh, we sent you the audio mm -hmm. of Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to take me at my word. I want you to hear his words. And what did you hear that man saying? What did you hear that man saying? He said it. What did he say? Is that is Moni, you know you're not supposed to be recording people. No, no. No, no. Let me back up. Okay. Everything we did was legal. And here's where a black woman really gets the kick in the ass. Had I not recorded Tyler Perry, then it would have been my word, word against, his. against his. And then on top of that, it would have been he's so powerful, we can't even pay no attention to that. Right. Well, now I have him on audio, which is legal to do mm -hmm. where we live. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have him on audio. And do you know what some people then said? Why would you record him? <laughs> Just like you sat there and said, you know what's unlegal to do. But did you hear what the man said? I, I violated you. Yeah. I mistreated you. That was a boss move because there was no denying that Tyler did Monique dirty. At least not since he's on tape for so many years. She's been caught a liar bitter and so many other nasty things. So getting Tyler to confess on tape was a brilliant strategy. And before y'all start talking about how it's illegal to record someone without their knowledge or consent, Monique pointed out that recording him wasn't illegal where she's from. I mean, if Tyler had known he was being recorded, he probably would have never admitted to spreading those rumors and blacklisting her. Monique also revealed that Tyler's actions caused her and her family a lot of pain, revealing that she lost out on jobs worth about 10 million in total. You know, Shannon, that's cost my family tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. Over a lie and a rumor. Is he going to is he going to make a he's going to compensate you for that? I want you to look in your camera. Yes. And I want you to talk to Tyler Perry because you heard what that man said. Mm -hmm. So ask him, will he compensate my family for that? Tyler, will you come on Club Shay Shay and let's have a conversation about the fair compensation for what transpired between you and Monique? You can sit right here and she's sitting right here and you and I can have a conversation. And we'll do you one better. And give me five on that, baby. We'll do you one better, Shay. My husband and I'll sit right next to It gets even worse. According to Monique, several industry folks were ready to stand up for her, defend her, and try to get her out of the blacklist. She revealed that some of them even reached out to Tyler on her behalf to try and smooth things over so he would get rid of the blacklist. But then the moment that they talked to Tyler, they straight up ghosted her and suddenly started acting like they never even met her.